You have right one now. job. Totally. Is everybody getting coffee that wants coffee? Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. I did you make talk how to do it? Oh. You want me to show you? I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to be at the. And we don't need you for the show. You can turn it on and start on the Hi, Dave. Day. I think we're rolling. Yeah, I think we are. But do both don't don't both of you have Keurigs? Yeah, but we don't have this fancy one like you have. What do you mean fancy one? You fucking pour the water in, you put the thing in, and you ow. Right. I was fancy about it. I put the Keurig cup in, you pull the Keurig cup out. I think everybody's just nervous about spilling coffee all over the counter. I put water in my, uh... I'm a little bit. You poked out a little bit here lately, so... I what? You poked out. I, I, I poked out? Gonna set you I poked up. out! I put water I, in a, I would rather help you and get you to figure it out, but I haven't shown you guys anything because you guys own Keurig machines. Well... I have one that has this reservoir tank, is what it's called. Um, tell it to the judge. So that was the only thing. I didn't know where the water came from. Well, I, I realized that. <laughs> I've got this I one. Ours has a reservoir tank, too. It's like patented in 1973. The Keurig? Yeah. Von Keurig. Von Keurig. <laughs> Von Keurig. <laughs> they call it Mr. Keurig. Right. <laughs> and Chris, you're it's, like, little it's, bug. It's a hybrid. <clears throat> So it doesn't really have the cups per se. Yeah. yeah. Hey, cameraman, don't make it. Don't make our viewership dizzy. <laughs> nice and slow. What's the deal? You got, <laughs> you need I something need to drink? Or you, uh, you, got you want a hot chocolate cupcake? We can't tear into the cake until you eat those two cupcakes. Hey, hey look, this water's so old now that Dave, Dave doesn't even have a beard. Does it have an No, it doesn't. <laughs> Does water have an expiration? When does water go bad? They're they're legally when, obligated when to evaporate. They sell by day. When does sour cream go bad? Not not sour. Cal- how do you know? Not in California, they're not. This was illegally immigrated. Uh, does the cow tell you? Hey, this was illegally That's immigrated right. into the state of Illinois from California. I got a hot tip on that stuff. So. Illegally so, immigrated? I'm gonna put it on the top of. <laughs> So with an I know. I know. There's something wrong with I know, the guy di- in construction. It's a dichotomy, isn't it? <laughs> shipped? Illegally shipped? Transported? You can't illegally immigrate products. How does water no. immigrate? It's a transport station. No. Well, people did it. People? Sure. No, it's because it is good that, for consumption. I think they call that import. <laughs> I know. I thought I was looking for Thank you. I'm the one with the brain. It would be funnier to do immigrate. I'm the one with the brain wasting, and, and they can't come up with anything. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that's all the better we've got. Well, that's, that's the show, everyone. Yeah. I want you to know, Dan, yeah, it's be nice, short and sweet. I was thinking of you uh, yesterday when I renewed my Mensa membership. And <laughs> I was looking for the little uh, little line where it says you can... Do uh, you have to pay to renew it? Yeah. And I was, I was on your... I was wanting some sort of line that says, I, I am renewing this in honor of my dumbass friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I was, that was my that other was idea. Funny, dude. No, yeah. never mind. I just remembered my other idea for this week. I was kind of hopeful that it was like a nomination. You were going to nominate me for... That's um, closer to what it is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> An honorary membership. Did I not leave myself a note on this or what? <laughs> what an honorary membership. Do you have to retest? No, thank God. Oh, so it's a yeah. lifetime thing? Yeah. I that you have to renew? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Pass on. And only re- the real reason, one of the, one of the main reasons I keep it, is so I have something good to leave Kathy. <laughs> Seriously. I want an updated, I, and I sent it in the other day, it's a stupid amount of money for it, but I want her to have a, a, an updated membership card from Mensa that just is a constant reminder that, no, you're the dumbass. Oh, so it'll, yeah, it'll constantly be mailed to her? You put her Ooh, address that's down? even better. I'm just saying, might want to write that note down. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't have an expert. Is it transferable? <laughs> no. <laughs> God, Can we get one? We should we take the test for us, and then we can all become Mensa members too. Well, it'll this, be it'll be a big ruse. You know, I've never thought about that. That would be good to see to have something mailed to someone after you. Does it cost? 
Does it cost it? money to take the Mensa test? Yeah. Well, you do. Is it, it does? Is yes. it expensive? It's more than it should be, but it's not outrageous. Maybe we should do it and see which but one. That's right. what it was. Okay, that's what it was. That's what I forgot. <laughs> Is it just when right I went to right? renew it, it uh -huh. said it said uh, the Mensa home test, which was the first one I took, is on sale for the month of January, and I was like, on I, sale. On sale. I was thinking I can think of four of them that need to be taken right now. I'll bet we can find it for four. Free, just for we got to get the channels in on that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when did you when did you become a Mensa member? 2010. Oh, so fairly new. So, the, so you the, were, the new standards are in place. Oh, you're, you're worried like, if you're... If it wasn't like you got in early and then, you know, they raised the standards when we would... Well, it was like bondman's uh, <laughs> Right. You're, you're trying to pull this shit that um, or another guy pulled with me the other day. He's asking me about taking a teaching test. And, and uh, yeah, I said, yeah, I took it. He goes, no, you, you took this one. I said, I said, you don't know what I took. It, they change, like, almost every year. And there's, like, 300 teaching tests out there, at least. Oh, well, I think they've made it a lot harder since you took it. And I said, yeah, at that point, at that point, I'm putting on the parachute and looking for the door. He must have failed, right? He did. Okay. That, that makes sense. I'm going to leave his name out of this, but anyway. It well, doesn't on. matter. Nobody, this is, how he, this, is how, this is how you find out if anybody ever watches your show. Yeah, that's right. Hell, don't leave his name out of it. <laughs> I know they did. They well, did change the test because... They have. They've yeah. changed... Okay, the, with the teaching test and the and the Mensa test, but it's like at some point you gotta, you know, you, you can point the fingers and whatever. It, it is what it is, because everybody complained right before I took the test. They changed it, the teaching test, and people were like, "Oh yeah, it used to be really really hard," and then they made it really easy. And I'm like, "Okay, whatever." And then the next time it was, they made it really really hard, and then you know, kind of like a Rubik's cube, right? You know, and then you just take it apart and put it back together, and that was easy. Or peel the stickers off. The yeah, stickers off. Yeah, but it was so time consuming. Yeah, you, just, you just want to take it apart after a while. Uh, uh, but we, we always side note. Yeah, right. Don't ever take a Rubik's Revenge apart. Just the Rubik's Cube. Don't go beyond the. Uh, what was the Revenge? Did it have like 21? It had right. an extra line of squares on either no, side. side. So when you get smart and you pop one of the blocks off, then you discover the horrible truth is instead of just having like a, a what was it like a that was just a circle the prongs and then yeah. you fit up uh, right, this right. is a spherical ball with tracks in it and grease uh, and you're like what the fuck did I do this is not going to go well and probably most people on the planet wouldn't know what a Rubik's Revenge is anyway but you remember when the shit first came out they had a Rubik's Cube, Rubik's Revenge, Pyraminx, uh, yeah. Yeah, Megaminx, uh, yeah, all that stuff. Hey, another thing for the trivia night <coughs> that we may all be a part of. What we name? One, we need a boombox for walking Who in. Who let the dogs out? For walking in, just so you know. We oh, need yeah. a portable radio with that song when we walk in. I was thinking that, too. They ain't watching the show, so they're not going to be right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> just saying. Or every time there's a break, you know, we can play. Right on. Done deal. And I've got the oh, dogs playing. Here I'm the saying boombox. So I just, just gonna hand it. Huh? I just wanted a boombox for the appearance, but yeah, we could do an MP3. I think that we here. should be on like a coffee run. I, I think it should happen, but I can't promise anything right now. We know. Uh, yeah, we figured we're not, uh, it's gotten that bad. If you if you couldn't go, we were gonna stuff some of your clothes. Okay. With a, a head. Well, what the only we, thing I wanted to, to, to specify as far as that that's concerned is, um, if I die during filming, um, you need to one, keep in two, mind. Two, we're, we're, we're finishing, finishing, her. We're finishing <laughs> the show. Dude, we're going viral on Should that. Should we stop? Have you died No. Can, okay. I, can I finish? Yeah. 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 He hates when we cut him off. And you guys all jumped in at the same time like you choreographed. Huh? Dude, our eyes were <laughs> up. We were all like, <laughs> if I die during the show, understand at some point, I don't want you to interrupt the show, and I want you to stop filming, but at some point you're going to have to let the uh, organ donation guys do their oh, thing. Oh, right. Okay. okay. All right. That's all I wanted to point out. 
give it, you know, take 10, 15 minutes. You've done that before. <laughs> I don't know how long you got, though. They, they got to come in and start chopping and stuff. So. Well, if it's in the winter time, we can push them outside. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's true, too. I Keep was thinking about preserved. that the other night, at, you know, organ donation is if there's anything salvageable left. You know, right. They shouldn't take long, and then you can work with what's left. Can we can we call the call them while we're doing the show? I don't see why not. Yeah, maybe it's gonna have to. You have a break. It's always on your wall, right? Yeah. Your so. line. You call them before you call the uh, the mortuary. I don't know how that works. That's not gonna be an emergency. I'm not calling nine one one. I think I think I'll call four one one. I think it's like call one and done. <laughs> Call one. Call, one. No, call Julie. Like kayak. Yeah, I don't think they call Julie so we don't okay. get a water line when right. digging the hole right. and stuff. Why, once he calls somebody, it sets off the whole thing. And then, but I, I don't honestly know. I should look into that. It's, it's a chain of events. So we're that, we're doing the, the dust thing for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we can put you in a wheelchair and like roll roll you in like Xavier, like Doctor Xavier. Oh, with a blanket. With a blanket. Oh, that, that would be that. awesome. And yeah. Hey everybody! And this is the guy that you hey, all skipped out hey, on for the dog. And the pretend dog in his lap that he's petting. I'll <laughs> oh, get you a right. round puppy. And, uh, <laughs> and, and no pants. All right. <laughs> no pants. <laughs> a a freeze dried dog. So it's going to be. How about you come in with some Chinese food? <laughs> and, and rather than a wheelchair, it'll be a portable commode. Sponsored by Chinese <laughs> yeah. yeah, I haven't thought about that. Along with the dog food back stuff, we could do some Chinese. <laughs> Containers. But that is so long. That is so long. Here's what we could do. Is, levels. Is, well, we'll bring in a portable commode. A portable well. commode? Hey, yeah. And I told Dan, you can just get up. If anybody has, if anybody just has a big trophy, too, it doesn't matter what it's for, we should just take that, too. And have it on our table. <laughs> just random. You know, Especially just, if it's really. Obviously not for that. Like for bowling, bowling or something? Ball. Oh, yeah. I was thinking that. Do you want my football trophy? Well, that's kind of what I, I said big. Yeah. <laughs> something that is obviously not for trivia. It's got to be something that people would want. A race car would be like great. A, a tall one. A bowling uh, ball. Oh, yeah. Glue all mine together. Like, um, um, what if we went down to you the... Know, you can buy shit like that. You can find shit like that at the thrift shop. I bet if we go to we'll get rid of their Maxwell made that <laughs> you know, uh, place in Waterford. I was about to go like for a night. Just saying, I can just borrow it. Like I got to tell you this is tall. That is... You um, being swindled. My daughter but actually started to check on that and make sure that it's a little... It's still available, but... I'm that song. I'm like, thanks, Macklemore. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I was a good preacher or it preaching to her for years and you finally get her to understand that you, know, you can get shit from the first shots. <clears throat> Every Christmas. That's right. <laughs> what, to pick up another kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what we do always. Another <laughs> camera, man. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I didn't take the Goodwill sticker off there. <laughs> He's uh, like a bread tie that's stapled uh, in the boat. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I, or it says cream. cream I, went to the, uh, I went to the Chesterfield Goodwill thinking, oh, but it was like stuff that I heard the Glen Carbon one's pretty good. Yeah, the Chesterfield one's good too, but it's like third and now the third type stuff. Right, you know, right. The, the one in Fairview Heights. Heights. Most of those yeah, people live Heights. longer. Yeah. yeah. The, the one in Fairview <laughs> Hey, the one in Fairview Heights that used to be a Pier One. That's a really nice one. Is that right? Oh, I haven't been to that one. Yeah, that Pier One. We, we, like we, we, we should do it on location. But well, that one's like really friggin' <clears> busy. We went there that one day just to run in and run out, and there were lines everywhere. I mean, because you're, you're getting the cream of the crop there pretty much. We have <coughs> the old uh, Eddie Murphy skit roll in on a, with, like he doesn't have a leg. From <laughs> 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 trading places. You know, probably one of the better ones would be where if we were going to be trendy, we would have to go like where kids get kicked out of dorm rooms and stuff like that, and they go and they all that trendy clothes. So I, I don't know where those go. It's got to be somewhere in the city. But like Rich was saying, you get out to Chesterfield, and most of those people that donate out there right. are 90-something years old. Right, right. They, right. they still got another it's 10 like years to live. Thurston Howell III. <laughs> you know? You're not going to get anything Jack. that hasn't been worn out completely to shit. Oh, right. I mean, if you want to look like Tom Landry did in the, in the 70s, well, yeah. you know, go to the you can certainly go out right. there. But... You know, as far as uh, nice, new, modern, uh, not new, but modern-looking stuff, I don't think you'd 
to like completely it. change the subject. Notice they didn't say not. Mm -hmm. To completely change the subject. Is anybody watching the show clock? Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Are we on the show? Clock? Fourteen minutes. Yeah. Just okay. wanted you to be aware. I noticed our last week's show was a little long. It was a little long. I don't, I don't think it was, it was like four hours. hours think of it. Oh, Which I've yeah. never been. By the time you move your car, I've never been <laughs> confused with being long in my life. I've never been accused of that. So long or long? Both. Well, it all depends on what country you're in. Wing wing. I had fun as a viewer at home, but so the whole time I was sitting there, I was going, well, "How do we get viewers at home?" Did I have <laughs> a plant growing out of my head? No. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> you look like you it actually still hair. kind of looks like it. Are we did, did, you know, I did get an haircut today. Uh, we will. Okay. We will at, at some point as soon as I, I, I think we should figure out the technology. Yeah. And maybe technology. A and, and maybe a different game. Yeah. And maybe a different game. show and a different host. And you just don't get sure. it because it's British. <laughs> yeah, I think apples and apples are British because I didn't get it. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman, for that. Yeah. Look at him. It's Thank like you. he's been around the show forever. Yeah. Weird. Now you've tried um, starting and stopping the hearts like two or three it, times. Yeah, it's it, it's going and then it's not going. So um, now it's going. Maybe. What's that? Oh, hang on. I got to skip an ad in five uh, seconds. Yeah. Somebody needs money. <laughs> speaking of needing money. <laughs> speaking of needing money. This, this segment brought to you by people that need money. Nice. It's <clears throat> like everybody. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what are we doing now? We talk about that's saying the This is where you this, talk. This is where okay. you talk about you. Okay, life sucks. The end. You've done that one Great before. Update. Yeah, no, his was alphabets. No, oh, was, no, it was this. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw something out. I mean, the, the last week or so has been rough. And uh, the medication and the cancer and everything has taken a turn for the worse. And it's, it's been kind of crappy. I don't want to jump on that because it seems like all I've been focusing on lately is how crappy it is and right. I don't think that's helping me too much around the house. I haven't been out of the house in like four days. And it's no good. So But you, yeah. but you smell good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I smell popcorn. <laughs> Sorry. He <laughs> 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 smells yeah. cabbage. If you let go, he smells cabbage. More like <laughs> cabbage. Why does everything smell like cabbage? So getting back to I think even if we don't do the actual Mensa test, we should at least do an IQ test. Do an IQ test. We should. The no, game I'll, should I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll take care of it. Even if it's a, you know. I know I've been letting stuff sit on the back burner this week. Uh, that would be fun. Yeah, trivia. You know what we could do is they team up in trivia. So. Well, the thing about yeah, you know, we can do that too. We can do two different things because. Uh, the Mensa test will not be an, will not be an instant. If you're asking me to pay attention to what I'm saying here, shit, I love to. No, I think he said it, and you. The, I was listening to you, but I didn't understand what he said. The Mensa test is not instant gratification. You take the test, you send it in, and you wait. Right. I mean, it'll come back. It'll be nice to have something to come back to, but if you want to do something more instant gratification, we can just break out like. Do the game again instead of doing what we were doing. Just do some basic like Trivial Pursuit. And it, right, that it'd be great. And Kim and I were playing on the plane one day <coughs> with the, the version on here, and it's just as good as playing the. It's updated too, so it's just as good as playing the regular board game. We have fun. I think I have the 1984 Genus version of Trivial Pursuit. You're probably real good at that one. <coughs> All no. the answers in the memorized. Right. I don't. I don't have them. I used to have it. 80s I mean, trivia, I'm a beast. Team up on though. trivia. I used to have it. I'll take that. Uh, what did you mean by that? No, no, team up with, you know, maybe. maybe I'll bring it next week. We'll get ahead. Okay. So, so, right. So you would have a. I, I uh, have my weak spot. And Jay so sure would have the other one. We have the original. Because we need four. Right. And two of those viewers last week over three were made because I had to log in. Yeah. Baby, she was thinking. Well, that was hard. Right. And I had to log in to watch it. And. I think that was it. Then we had some other knockoff trivia. Yeah, games. it, it made sense to me because when I was close to trivia, I don't want to knock up trivia. Right. 
Yeah, the so one I've got, I got that old one that we still have. And then I have you pretty much have to be on a computer to like we are the watch it and, and I'm, I'm really good at that. Time. I think I finally got rid of it. But I thought people were a little, little, little bit more advanced where, say, I had Twitter on my phone. Part of it was is I didn't. And they out. still could, but you're still using two different devices. Uh, it's not interactive to the point of uh, where you can watch it interact with the show at the same time. It was two different applications. And so well, you can. I mean, how oh, using Twitter I, Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. So I'd have Ustream and Twitter open at the same time. And then, like you said, somebody could be using their phone and a computer, but you're going to have to have two devices going. So the so interaction. You think, right. You think people were on some major drugs when they were naming all this internet shit and everything? I don't, that's a good Yahoo, question. Yahoo, Google, Ustream, YouTube. I don't know. And this all seems like it was there. It's stupid shit. It is. The names are very easy and yeah. they're definitely, when you think about Coca-Cola, you know, brand recognition, just seeing things over and over again. I know, kids, I know. Kids can read McDonald's before they can read the. Well, I'm messed up. Every time I hear Yahoo, I still yeah. think Yahoo's serious. And whatever happened to Yahoo Serious? I mean, uh, we should bring him back. What's well, Yahoo Serious? Maybe it, um, he can't be Yahoo Serious anymore. I mean, because maybe of he skips uh, Halo. Yeah, and uh, Yahoo's got the naming rights. Oh, speaking so, of that, we're at 20 minutes of Skip. I, it, skip was here a little bit early. I, I think he went into the bathroom. Well, I skip, had, um, skip better yeah. show his ass up or he's going to be skipped. Out. So I have one, on hiatus. one one last thing before I go and, and get skipped. And he's, and he's weird. Dave doesn't like him anymore. Say, hey, Dan, why are you and Skip never in the same room at the same time? I, it's odd, isn't it? Wow, it's it's really almost like weird. a Batman. Wow. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Forget about that. Cause it, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like you're not Batman. saying you're Skip Salem? It's almost like you never see Batman and Clark Kent at the same time either. Yeah, that's true. No shit. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or, Things that make you go, mm, Latoya yeah. and Michael Wait, Jackson. Right. Right. Or Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that was oh, nice. Oh, I didn't see where it came from. Nice. Is that how long ago? Yeah, I used to have a, J- a Janet Jackson poster in my room. I had on cassette the control. Okay, I had no, control I was on cassette. I was, I was in sixth that grade. Bad. Seventh grade. That's all I remember. I remember that word of the song. Again. When Janet made her uh, teenage adult debut comeback, whatever you like, I left good times and yeah, yeah. that's when I got came back with. <coughs> control. By the time Control came out, I was like, oh yeah, Janet's chance to bomb. I was wow. already in. Yeah. So you had the poster and mm-hmm. there's was it that red poster? What like her wearing that Michael mm-hmm. Jackson suit with the. Mm-hmm. No, now I don't know where you're going. There was probably some sock abuse. Too. She had that, like, that pointy, like, with the shoulder pads. Oh, like, like the yeah, 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 that's what it was. She wasn't sure She wasn't sure how much to distance herself from her brother or not yet. Jermaine? Yeah, uh-huh. Jermaine. No, no, Tito. Oh. Tito, the tissue maker. Right. <laughs> you can't say Tito Jackson without an Eddie Murphy reference. Oh, yeah. Uh, you just can't do it. Tito. <laughs> and, and we're losing the generation that knows that shit. They are. Aunt yeah. Bunny. Yeah. Why don't you go look for Skip and... Uh, I'm going to go look, look for Skip. Take a break? Before that, before that, what I was going to say is that we have added... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, to the... You're right. Um, I forgot about that. To the roles on um, Fade to Black. So... Um, Right, and uh, can, you, can you give us a little more information on our new edition? If you haven't seen it lately, it's on the website, epiccoffeetime.com. It's, you know, two C's, two F's, two E's. You, you don't know how to spell it, Google it, all right? Or Yahoo it. Or Yahoo it. Bing it, if it comes down to it. Watch your film. Ah. Google's not happening. So, anyway, there, there, there's a young kid in Toledo, Ohio. His name is Nicholas. Okay. And Nicholas has been diagnosed with stage four brain cancer. And he's going through some pretty uh, aggressive treatments, uh, chemotherapy and so forth. And so, uh, oh, you're good. you know, there's, there's a donation page up there on the website. You can uh, click on the, his picture 
Um, and, and you can go right to the donation page. You can read more on it, um, on the family. But, uh, you know, these people really need some help. And it, and it looks like, you know, it's the same situation as us. You know, there's somebody that really genuinely needs help. And, you know, there's three or four people donating. You know, so, you know, as many more as we might get. We, yeah, we send them over there. And them something away. I like to throw in about, especially Nicholas, and when, whenever we get somebody on there, is, you know, one of the first things people think about is, oh, they're going to need help with their medical bills. I want to dispel that notion right now. One of the first things people need help with is whatever the hell they need help with. Right, right. If it's taking the kids to cheer them out and <coughs> McDonald's and, or, uh, you know, buying something needed for the house. I, I want people to get away from the medical bills thing. The medical people will get what they need eventually one way or another. What we're looking at when we put people on there is what can we do for you? And usually it's we give you the cash you decide. You know what you need to do for you guys. Gas money right. to make the trips back. And oh, yeah. Anything. It's huge. Right. The, the last part, <clears throat> the, 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 the biggest part was just trying to take out that little bit of stress that, you know, hey, I had to put all that money in gas, now, mm -hmm. you know, we got to figure out how to keep the lights on. Mm -hmm. You know, because right now, I need that money right yeah. now, so I just pull that out of <coughs> the rainy day money. It's got to come from somewhere, and then all of a sudden, there's nothing to replenish that, and the, and the, and the bills go unpaid. You know, and I think, you know, the, the, the family's kind of running into a, a situation where those things, those luxury things that you know, we take for granted are being turned off. So yeah. it's down to, okay, now that the luxuries are gone, the next thing to go is is the necessities. So, and do you want your quality of life to really go down the tubes while you're fighting this kind of crap? Right, right. And we don't think about, we don't think, I'll, I'll say it this way, I'll be, I'll be the guy that says it, I don't think about those things when I'm going day to day because I'm just, living day to day. I don't think about it, what if something devastating happened to me or my family. You mentioned a good one though is the gas card. Um, and where we live here we got all these major hospitals around here. But it's not uncommon to be shifted from one hospital to another because of technology. And unless you live right in the middle of a big city you're going to be driving mm -hmm. to go somewhere. And to have to do that every day or several times a week or something that adds up quick. It sure takes is. a big chunk out. I'm glad because I've had situations where the doctors, the doctors and nurses associations will, will sometimes issue you a gas card to help you out just so you can get to your appointments. So I'm just honing in on you. I'm going to get attacked by Skip here in a bit. Yeah, you better. I, I'm sorry. You're I'm out of time. So Nicholas, let's just make it next week. As far as Faith the Black, <laughs> take, my, take my shoes off. I'm going to go. You want to make a donation to Faith the Black? Just make sure you're specifying who you're donating. Make sure you use the pink cloth. To what? The pink one. Use that, the pink oh, don't use the pink towel? Use the pink towel. Oh, use the pink towel. Right. Okay. So well, anyway, back, back to the exactly pink black. Here. There's nothing Here different about our donations. It's just we have one page now. Click on fade to black and make sure in the comment section you include who you're donating to. And that way we know where the money goes to. It's just one, one uh, collection fund now. Oh my goodness, are you serious? So, uh, so we're Those have been on the show before. Huh? Those have been on the show before, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. So, uh, do we have any other new developments? Um, this time? I think we still, have, unless unless we've taken her down already, we should still have Glennis on the side. We're, I don't know how long we're going to leave that up for her stair lift chair for her parents. And in, sometimes we're looking, uh, you know, if you guys have a suggestion of somebody who needs help, all you got to do is let us know. Let us know. Message one of us on Facebook. Otherwise, we have to rely on Dan or somebody to <laughs> come We all know how reliable Dan is. <laughs> well, I can't say anything. I've been out of the loop all week. It's been a rough week. There isn't much loop, but no, there hasn't. Just well, we're getting on the other side of the holidays, and everybody's kind of like, eh. Yeah. And I realized too, with um, I love how we plan everything out on the show. I realized too that we're.
we're just getting over the holidays, back to the donation thing. And everybody's like, oh, I'm Charity Dow. They were hitting me at the store. They were hitting me at Walmart. You shouldn't have been at Walmart. Uh, all, all the organizations have been sending stuff in the mail. And I realize that. What I want to remind you of is this stuff doesn't go away the rest of the other 11 months of the year. While a lot of people won't be bugging you about stuff, we're going to be reminding you that cancer sucks, it continues to suck, it doesn't take a vacation. And that's that's what we're specializing <coughs> in. I had a, I had a friend uh, just about four or five weeks ago, I think it was the beginning of November, he was walking, he was working out in the garage, he felt kind of discombobulated, you know, and he was walking into the house and couldn't think straight, had a seizure. Uh, they called 911. Uh, time paramedics got there, he walked to the ambulance. Uh, they did tests on him, found out he has um, a very aggressive brain cancer. Mm -hmm. um, they did surgery on him. Uh, like a week or two later after they found everything out. Got 95% of the tumor, um, which increased his life expectancy to 14 months. Uh, his wife just had a baby two days ago, their third child. Um, just, you know, devastating. And I mean, he was just, you know, normal everyday guy. And I mean, it was that quick. Changed it. And um, he, had, he did suffer a stroke during the surgery because the tumor wrapped around him blood vessel in his brain, and when they were removing the tumor, he, he had a stroke. Um, I'm not sharing anything that isn't shared right, right. You know, publicly on, on, on uh, the site that they have as well. Um, and I haven't been able to successfully help them with that, um, to see if we can help them out with us. And uh, without uh, further ado, it's 8.30. <laughs> it's 8.30. Oh, oh right. my God. Oh, Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh my goodness. I was trying to put this on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just so nice. Nice. It just doesn't work. Get the same one I don't wear these off. Oh, you gotta help me. Help me out. So. Help me out. What I should do is have you commit in, but. No. Dave's oh, going to no, Hawaii. Tie on the side. Tie on the side. No, I'm going to tie it right here. <laughs> here, here's some grass here. Oh, you want to make it big, do you? Here, let me let me fluff that up for you. The bigger the better. I, I agree. You're quite the fluffer, Dave. Like a big knot. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. No problem. Isn't that it's fantastic? I don't know what it was. We were here talking about stupid stuff, and now you know, yeah, yeah. The, all right, there we go. Oh, now we're nice. all serious. Oh, thanks. We're all getting uh, laid. <laughs> stuck. <laughs> This is not working out. Oh, okay. Okay, which one are you, Dave? I'm going to get in the rainbow, rainbow one. one. I can't get them loose. Okay, there you go. That's what she said. And then, I guess I'm too old. I get laid twice. <laughs> Isn't that the way that always happens? Uh, so, anyway, Dave wanted to go to Hawaii. And uh, I figured you guys weren't going to go. So I was gonna make, uh, you know. Oh, you're gonna make a push. I, I was gonna make a push. So, so kind of like the Brady Bunch. When the Brady Bunch, you remember that? A long time ago, they were always going to Hawaii. Yeah, was the Hawaii. You did. You did Brad, watch uh, Bobby had found the tiki. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was on the color TV. You guys did yeah, right, right. Until late. Right. They yeah. found the tiki, and bad things started happening. Right. The tarantula right. went into Alice's bag. She her back threw her back out. How many tiki times have you watched? Oh, all I've seen it. A it lot. wasn't a British show, you see. No, that's, that's all know. American, baby. Right. Yeah. Greg had a surfing accident. It kind of looked like Greg in that with that. Don't I? Yeah. I could sir. Yeah, Carol was I, doing that. Yeah. See? With the Wesson? Yeah. yeah. I thought you guys said we were going to get a pig and everything. And we have a pig roast. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're shoddy, no. Rich. Oh, sorry. You're working out using the metformin and all of that. You'll be slamming no time. I'm a sidekick. I know things. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Dave, I was going to sing you a song, but I, I forgot my ukulele. Okay. So, um, can you hear you Michael Michael Lee? Lee? Hi. Can you play it for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing your ukulele. Oh, really? No. 
I don't know what you look a little happy to see everybody. Yeah. I thought we had an agreement. That's just great. Well, it's uh, 8.33, That's everyone. Oh, it's time to go? You better hit it. Oh, wrap it up. I was going to sing the song. Sing it. Sing the song. I don't know. Acapella. Really like oh, what are you pushing? I thought you were pushing something like Brady Bunch. Yeah. I don't know. See, look. It's 8.30. <laughs> All right. Well, it's 8.30. So, we'll just... Anyway, Dave, this was going to be well orchestrated, but as a psychic, I thought it was going to be better. <laughs> I saw so many things happening, and they just didn't happen. Right. You get how that goes, huh? I do. So you did get to see my uh, coconut boobies. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Isn't that great? Thank you so much. Yeah. Nuts for boobs. <laughs> Wasn't that crazy? They're doing all kinds of stuff with science these days. So, anyway. <coughs> hold I, on, hold on. We were talking about doing a karaoke thing at one point. Are we still on them? Uh, karaoke in? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. What are we singing? Good luck with that. I don't know the words. <laughs> you don't know the words of that? What is this? It's Hawaiian music. It's Hawaiian music. Brought to you by YouTube. <coughs> no, I don't know. 